hello everyone in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make this kind of number pattern so here if you notice how many row we have to go for one two three four five and how many columns are there one two three four five so definitely we have to use two for loop so this was our last program okay here we also use two for loop first was like outer for loop this was responsible for like row okay and this was like inner for loop so it was responsible for the columns so if you notice right here the value is keep repeating like one two three four again one two three it was happening due to this one because we have put it inside this one so whenever the i value will be changed this one will become like int count equal to one so our requirement is like we have to keep increasing so what we can do i'm just coming here i will cut from here and i will paste before this for loop now what will happen here i'm just going to give one space so at least we can see perfectly now what will happen here if i will just put breakpoint so first time i value will be here one or so zero then it will go inside and if you go to the console here count is one okay after that it was increment so it is showing two now what will happen if it will go inside it will print the value will be like two okay now j is zero and i is here one so how many time it will repeat it will repeat two times so 2 is already there so one more time it will go and it will print 3 now j value will be 0 you can see here and it will go till 2 times so 1 2 3 you can see here count is keep increasing and it is not reset because we have pasted outside of this for loop so this is the way to print our requirement you can see it will just print debug debug mode okay now if you will run you will see this is the output right so if you go to compare last uh, tutorial video with this one you can easily understand what i am doing currently last time if you will cut from here and if you will paste here what will happen this value will be reset once the i value will be like increased so i will show you okay here i value is zero right now count value is one go to the console now i value is one but here count is again one I already told you like whenever the i value will be increased the count will be reset to again 1 so you can see here right now i value is 1 so here count value is 3 but 3 will be not print because once this loop will be closed right then again i value will be increment so now you can see i value is here 2 so now again count will be set as a 1 so this is a way to achieve this one right so this was our last tutorial video and in this tutorial just cut from here and paste here so please try to see the logic like what we are doing and try to do some experiment it is not like only with this rule you can follow you can also use your logic so day by day you will improve your coding way thank you guys please subscribe my channel